Hey guys, welcome to Ranger. Lifting is a dangerous business and understanding how to safely lift a heavy load is essential. In this quick video, we're going to talk you through sling leg tension. We're going to explain what it is and show you one of the most common mistakes that people make when determining the working load limit of a chain sling. Let's say you have a 10 ton object to lift and you go and grab a chain sling and you hook it up. This particular chain sling has been rigged at 90 degrees. As the load is lifted, there is seven ton of force placed on each leg of that chain sling. But what happens when a shorter chain is used to lift that same load? This shorter chain has been rigged at 120 degrees and you'll see that as the load is lifted, the amount of force on each leg has now increased to 10 ton. And in the case of an even shorter chain, rigged at 160 degrees, the force triples again. The common mistake that is made is that people think, I've got this 10 ton load to lift, I'll go and grab that chain sling and can lift 10 ton. But they'll go and grab a chain that's too short. They'll lift the load anyway and the chain will stretch and it could even break. They fail to consider that as the, as the angle gets bigger, the sling leg tension increases and their load essentially becomes a lot heavier. While we've shown you these examples, it's important to remember that according to Australian standards, you should never use a multi-leg chain sling at an angle greater than 120 degrees. You should always refer to the working load limit chart and the manufacturer specifications when using lifting equipment. Our working load limit charts and this easy reference diagram can be found in the links below.